Ah, I'm back. Oh my goodness, it's been an age. It's been an age and I am so, so sorry. I recorded a video, a retrospective, a year in gym. And, well, basically it broke in, in, in two. Uh, as I was recording it, it uh, I ran out of space and uh, it became two videos that are supersonically long and I'm trying to edit them, but I've never edited before in my life, as you well, well know. Um, so I was try desperately trying to put them together and I wanted to bring them out before uh, July's box. Now, obviously, it's the end of July and I haven't got a video for you. So I thought, sod it, I'm gonna have to open my box. It's a bit dirty. This box and uh, at least record a Craft Gin Club monthly box unboxing opening video thing. Um, so we're very late and I'm really, really very sorry. And um, thank you all very much for your patience. It has been a busy month. And like I say, with the disaster of the other video, I've not given up, it's recorded. Um, it's just about stitching them together and taking out the messy bits in between where I sort of floundered at the end because it cut off and then yeah, stitching it together with the other one, I don't know. So that's why. Short explanation as to where I've been, basically, and why we don't have a video. Um, but I'm here, I have a box, I have my little glass, and um, look, it's daytime, and we've actually got some sunshine. And it's sort of early evening, so we've got natural light. You might be able to see my window reflected in my glasses. Apologies about that one. Um, we're, you know, a very professional setup here. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Let's let's have a little look. Um, I have seen some pictures on social media. I haven't looked in any detail as to what is in the box. Every time I've seen it, I've sort of scrolled past it and tried not to see. So I have seen pictures, but I'm not entirely sure of the flavours or even the name of the gin or anything like that. Um, so yes, just, you know, being honest with you. Um, so I have my trusty turquoise scissors and we're going to get, look, it almost matches my outfit. Ta-da! Actually quite intentional there. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm sure that most of you that do watch my videos potentially have already opened your box, you've already enjoyed your gym and you'll be thinking, yeah, so what? We've already seen this, we know. Am I opening this the right way? Yes, I am, thank goodness. Um, so let me know, what did you think of this month's gin and other lovely things that we might find in this box? Um, and tell me that you forgive me. Oh my goodness, look at the size of those. Ruby grapefruits, wow, look at those. We've got massive dried grapefruits. Now they're not really gonna fit in my glass. So we're not, we're not gonna utilize those this time, but they are actually fab. At the moment, I'm actually creating a beautiful box for my um, drinks area um, so I can put all the nice little, um, the sort of flavourings and the garnishes. I've put the rose petals and the lavender in little pots that look really cute and I'm now going to create a box to put them all in. Um, so I'm going to have to make room for those as well because they're quite big. Now I see on top here I've got a, I don't know what this, great Drinks deserve great snacks. Drinks biscuits. Oh, okay, interesting. They look kind of rustic. We like a rustic biscuit. And these are, oh, pecorino, rosemary, and Scottish seaweed, flavoured match to gin and tonic and gin cocktails. Well, I can't argue with that. I hope I've pronounced all that correctly. Um, so yeah, that sounds very nice. Can't smell anything, but we'll. I'm sure they're lovely. We've also got Nan's gluten-free pop oats, a light and crispy popped oat snack in barbecue flavour. So a nice little savoury nibble there. And in here we've got, ooh, ooh, I love some marshmallows. So here we've got uh, mallow and marsh, whisked gooey perfection, salted caramel, Marshmallows. Now that's actually quite a heavy pack for marshmallows, so um, they feel like that. Oh, they feel good. Handmade in the UK. Uh, yeah, they look really nice, and they actually, like I say, are weighty. These don't look like your cheapy stuff. 
well, as we know, always the quality that you get with the Craft Gin Club is always excellent. Um, lots of stuff that I wouldn't normally buy. Um, and let's get out our ooh, big bottles. Hang on, what have we got in here? Oh, now this feels like it might actually come out quite easily. So we've got, um, we're going to open our gin first and then I'll open. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's cute. Theodore Pictish Gin. That is a lovely bottle. It's cute. It's quite little. 70 centilitres. Oh, well, it's still, it's still pretty. It's very pretty. Look at that nice, beautiful bottle. And that is going to be a nice one to put other gins in when we've drunk this one and we want to make our own flavoured stuff because we always on the lookout. Oh, it doesn't have a pop top, it has a twisty top. Oh, now I'm going to say from initial sniff, this smells quite, it's fresh, citrus, but I think there's some fraud in there too. It's quite a heavy, oh, let's pour that like that. It's quite a big bottle for someone like me with my tiny dainty hands to hold um, but that is a absolute beauty so that's our Theodore Pictish gin Pictish Pictish I'm not sure what that is um, but there we go so let's have a little look at our other little bottles here this looks nice so we've got a spritz syrup interesting it looks like a little cheeky medicine bottle uh i don't know what this has got in it though let's have a little look uh ingredients bark infused water cane sugar orange zest cranberries essential oils grapefruit zest vanilla herbs and an emulsifier well there you go so a syrupy gubbins that sounds nice, that sounds interesting anyway. Can we give it a go? And we've got another nice bottle here as well. Ooh, ooh, it's a ginger beer, look at that. Oh, look at that lovely bottle. This is a ginger beer. Wow, Australian family owned. Yeah, yeah that sounds very nice in a nice bottle. And it's got one of those funny little cool tab cap things on the top of it there. Nice, very nice. So that's another one of our mixers. And then in here we've probably got our little tonics. And so, looks like we've got a Fentimans. We do a pink rhubarb tonic water. Love me a rhubarb, as you probably well know. And I'm kind of hoping that the other one is the same flavour because I am partial to a rhubarb tonic water. Oh, is a rhubarb gin? And it is. Pink rhubarb tonic water turns to brilliant. So, let's have a little sip sip of this one. Mm. Ooh. There is a... I want to say a licorice sort of rooty sweetness in there and then it's very floral I think nice quite sweet actually um I'm gonna oh hang on let's have a little look at the bottle see if we can see what the botanicals are uh an elegant aromatic gin with a home in Ard Ardross Scotland the limited edition batch has been crafted with the northern highlands in mind Featuring 16 botanicals, including pine, damask rose, pomelo, and bourbon vetiver. Mm -hmm. Well, the aromatic, definitely. I do think there might be some licorice root or something in there. Something of that um, ilk. Now, I don't want to try and read all this while we're on the video, so it might just give me a few pointers. We've, of course, got our beautiful ginned magazine to tell us all about it. Here we are, botanicals, honey, coriander, citric pomelo, bourbon vetiver, damask rose, juniper, pink pepper, angelica chamomile, kaffir lime, ginger, oris, pine, lavender, cardamom, and oolong tea. So there's absolutely no licorice in there at all. 
I don't know what I'm tasting. Does anyone have any idea what that might be that tastes a little bit like licorice? Or that sort of rooty, sweet, rooty richness. Mm. Oh, it's, it, is, it is good. I think I can taste the angelica. Yeah, it, there's a sort of sweetness that hangs afterwards. That is actually very nice. Um, I'm a fan of that. I'm a great fan of that. So those of you that have also already, I say already, of course, we're nearly in the next month of crying out loud. In fact, I think they just took the payment for the next month. So there you go. Um, but let me know what you have thought of this month's gin and what botanicals you think it tastes like whether there's anything in there that really shines through for you. Um, but yeah, this is, this is quite really nice. Very floral. Hmm. I did like the, um, I want to say Dobbs, the honey gin that we had a few months ago. Very sweet and aromatic. And that's quite like this one as well. Um, although this one, definitely the Angelica, that sweet, um, florally, herby, mm, that's very nice. It's very top note. It's a sort of delicate, up here kind of taste to it. Um, but that is very, very enjoyable. Mm. So yeah. So if I can try and get the other video, video finished, um, then I'll get it out to you as soon as possible. I'm hoping I won't have to re-record it. Um, I'm hoping I can just figure out how to stitch them together. It may just take a little bit more time. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like to see it, let me know and I'll make a real effort to try and get it um, uploaded or at least vaguely edited in any way that I can. Um, but yeah, that might have to take a while. Uh, I'm not having much luck with that at the moment. Um, otherwise, yes, I'll try and do the other one well the next one, so August's gin box, um, much sooner, so hopefully that will only be a week or so away because we are what, the 28th of July today, so it's practically August, um, so I imagine the next batch will be turning up maybe the end of next week, maybe the beginning of the week after, um, and I promise I will try and do one as soon as I can for you all, um, to thank you for your patience um, in your having to wait for this month, so yes. Apologies again. So I shall say goodbye, I shall enjoy my drink and I want you to let me know what you thought of this month's Craft Gin of the Month. Bye guys!